Make sure to review the tutorials in creating the various kinds of rubrics before you view this tutorial. This tutorial will explain the three types of rubric status, draft, published, and archived. An important step after you've created the rubric is to change the status to published so it can be used to assess the student's work. To get to your rubrics, click on the Edit Course tab on the nav bar and click Rubrics. This will take you to the rubrics list page. What you're going to see here under the status column is um, what status that particular rubric is at. What you want to do to change the status is to click on the context menu next to the rubric and put your mouse over set status. There are three sta status states will appear. The one with the green checkbox will indicate the current status of the rubric. Draft means that you can make edits to the rubric, but it will not allow you to associate it with an object within the course content like a Dropbox or a discussion topic. So in order to be able to associate it um, to, and you want to use the rubric, you need to change the status to published. And to do that, you simply put your mouse over published and click. And you'll see right here it's been changed to published. If you don't, do not want to use the rubric anymore, but don't want to delete it, you can change it to archive. And if I go here and change it to archived, you'll see it'll say archived, and it will disappear from the view. You can actually then go to search options and then click on archive so you can see that and then click on the little icon to search it and now you'll see the all of the um, ones that have been archived. By default they're not shown. So again, it's a very important step in the process is to make sure when you're ready to use the rubric that you go ahead and make sure that it's in the published state.